down, folks. Floyd Mayweather and Shakur Stevenson just teamed up live on Instagram and their target? None other than Gervonta Tank Davis. You know when Floyd and Shakur start talking, the hot topic is bound to be Tank. But wait, there's more. Not only did they throw some serious shade at Tank, but Floyd also dropped a game-changing tip for Shakur to finally derail the Gervonta Davis hype train. Imagine this, Floyd, the man who mentored Tank for years and knows all his moves, sharing his insider secrets with Shakur. With Floyd's knowledge and experience, you better believe Shakur is gearing up to hand Tank his very first loss. Not to mention, the strategy Floyd shared with Shakur is absolutely wild and even more lethal than Tank's left hook, which he uses to drop all his opponents. There's a lot to discuss with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this video. Shakur and Floyd both jumped on livestream, and at first, their talks were all about the upcoming Boxing Olympics, but it slowly shifted towards the possibility of Shakur fighting Tank Davis. Shakur is down, and he's gotta be since Floyd said he'd be in his corner all the way, from helping him train to walking him to the ring on fight night. And you just know Floyd's gonna spill the beans on all of Tank's moves, giving Shakur a considerable edge. Shakur has already revealed that Floyd is teaching him things he's never been taught before. Oh, no, nah, it was amazing. <laughs> oh, he, he was teaching me a lot of stuff that I ain't been taught before. That, that Well, I've been taught certain stuff, but like it's like he like reminded me. Like he reminded me of like, old things are like stuff that when I was younger that I used to do. Mm. Mm. Shakur Stevenson is no stranger when it comes to giving fighters their first loss. Just ask Oscar Valdez. He handed one to him. Floyd was there that night in the stands watching Shakur. And from that moment on, he switched sides and became tight with Shakur. Even though Shakur didn't put on his best fight against Oscar, Floyd saw something we all missed. He saw potential, and with the right guys in his camp, he saw a fighter who could easily dethrone Gervonta Davis. Yo, that's that's dope. I got Floyd to come to a top rank fight. What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? Any words of encouragement? Or uh, yeah, yeah, he uh, came here to support me. Uh, I appreciate Floyd. Uh, I apologize to whom? I apologize to Andre Ward. I apologize to Terrence Crawford. Um, all my idols, I put on a bad performance. Um, they came out to see a great performance. I put on a bad one. So. Teaming up with Floyd is definitely going to elevate Shakur's game to the next level. But let's be real, the task at hand is no joke. Gervonta Tank Davis is an absolute beast in the ring. Shakur's go-to strategy has always been to hit and not get hit. That's why some people, like Raleigh Romero and Ryan Garcia, criticize him for having boring fights because he rarely engages. But Tank? He's a whole different story. He takes those risky shots and lands them with perfect timing and unshakable confidence. He's got that one-shot knockout power that can end a fight in an instant. A guy who fights with such volume and precision instills fear into his opponents, which is why we've seen fighters like Ryan Garcia and Frank Martin crumble under the pressure and hit the canvas. Shakur's gonna need more than just Floyd's words of wisdom He's going to need to bring his A-game if he wants to stand a chance against Tank. That's why Floyd and Shakur are putting in the work, doing intense boxing sessions together, and even sparring. But it's got to make you wonder why Floyd switched up on Tank all of a sudden. Well. Being a senior in the game, Floyd didn't appreciate Tank constantly taking digs at him. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, 
Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So you can't really blame Floyd for siding with Shakur Stevenson. When these two got together, they didn't hold back, taking their time to call Tank a duck. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Tank doesn't seem like a duck to me. But the way Shakur put it, it's hard not to look the other way. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen. But hey, if you know one thing about Tank Davis, it's that he's not one to keep his mouth shut while the other guy is running his. So Tank and Shakur went on a little back and forth on X, and it got pretty heated. It's about time these two settle it in the ring. And guess what? This bout is seeing the light of day sooner than you think. Tank was originally lined up to fight Lomachenko, but after seeing Tank absolutely demolish Frank Martin, Loma realized he might be biting off more than he could chew and backed off. So Tank's trainer, Kenny Ellis, floated the idea of replacing Loma with Shakur. And let me tell you, Shakur's response to this is bound to make all the fans ecstatic who've been itching for Tank vs. Shakur. The press conferences are going to be pure fireworks, especially if Floyd shows up. With Floyd and Shakur's chemistry hitting legendary levels, you know it's going to be electric. And those training sessions with Floyd? They're about to be total game changers. Expect Shakur to come in hotter and sharper than ever. I watch so much Floyd, where it's like certain things he's telling me to do. I already done seen it before. Like, I done seen him do it. I, I understand exactly what he's saying, so it kind of clicked to me fast, if that mm. makes sense. Here's one thing that's been driving Floyd Mayweather crazy. Watching Tank Davis' career skyrocket in a way his never did. Floyd's considered the best of all time, but if Tank continues to dominate like he has been for years, he's on track to surpass Floyd as the GOAT. And you know Floyd's ego can't handle that. Especially after Tank just dropped a bombshell, revealing he's landed a deal bigger than any of Floyd's. That news really got under Floyd's skin. He's not just gonna sit back and watch Tank steal his thunder. Floyd's got a plan, and with Shakur Stevenson by his side, he's ready to show the world who's really the king of boxing. Uh, set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh. He said everything. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, like. He, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's weird. I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah, that deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of the deal. He he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn, wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Tank no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. This is gonna be a good matchup with Floyd's strategy. This fight will be closer than you think. Tank loses a lot of rounds and only relies on that one punch to get the job done. 
If Shakur can keep his distance and have solid defense, he can easily take this fight to the judges and win on points. But if that one punch from Tank connects, it's bye-bye Shakur. Yeah, Floyd won't be able to show his face anywhere after that. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.